I can guarantee that you've never seen anything like today's tour right here in the Woodlands. I am honored to be able to take you on a tour of our newest listing, this modern contemporary new construction home right here in Grogan's Mill. On today's episode of Million Dollar Tours, we are in the Woodlands, Texas, which is the number one rated city in America, in the village of Grogan's Mill on the specific street of South Timbertop. As you can see behind me, we're in this unique area, this enclave of modern homes that are on the golf course. Builders have actually begun to buy these homes, tear them down, and build these amazing modern contemporary homes here. This home was built by the Woodlands Custom Homes that my dad and uncle actually built. I'm excited to show you this tour because we've got amazing construction, we've got modern design, and we have outstanding craftsmanship on today's tour. Not only do we get to tour this outstanding home, but I brought a special guest with me today to be able to give us an inside scoop on the property. This is Kara. She's on our real estate team and she worked closely with the builder to be able to make all the selections. Thanks, Chase. We've been working very diligent to complete the home with all the final details and I'm really excited to show you this exclusive tour today. Let's That's go. Right. Let's get inside and let's start right here outside underneath this two-story covered front porch. Let's start with these two-story windows that live in a lot of natural light. They also become the focal point to the front of the home. They draw your eyes up to the cedar beam and the matching ceiling. That's right, I love some of the details out here on the front porch, including these up lights that illuminate this beautiful tile wall. Around me, you're gonna see this modern contemporary handrail that we're gonna continue to see throughout the tour, especially on the back patio that overlooks the golf course. You gotta stick around to see that. Let's start the inside of the tour as we go through this extra wide glass front door. Right as you walk in the front door, you are greeted with this double tall, two level entry foyer. Yeah, Chase, I love these tall ceilings in here. Because of the ceiling height, we can see all the way to the golf course. It's open and light and bright. That's right. The builder made some amazing selections in this home, but one of the design things that they did is to be able to maximize the view of the golf course, the the living room, the kitchen, and the primary bedroom are all on the second floor. Again, we're gonna see those expansive views here in a little bit. Let's go upstairs for that tour. Well, you take the stairs, I'm taking the elevator. Okay, right here in the stairs, we, are, we, you know, we first see this modern banister. Plus, there are these beautiful wooden treads and these three landings that have these wooden geometric patterns that are illuminated by this recessed nightlight. As we make our way up the stairs, you see this awesome three stair-stepped window pattern that is a great detail both from the inside and the exterior of the home. Plus, it lets in a lot of natural light to this entry space. At the top of the stairs, we have this landing with an amazing view of the two-story foyer down below. Again, we're seeing this rod and steel horizontal railing with this top stained handrail. Hey Chase, welcome to the open concept second floor. Check out these spectacular views. This is absolutely amazing. There are so many massive windows. It's almost like there's not even a back wall there. I mean, you've got such a good view of the golf course. I love this living space. There's this amazing modern fireplace. That's such a statement piece and it really anchors this room. It all sits underneath this recessed ceiling with alcove lighting. The floor plan has actually very thoughtful design. There's opportunities for multiple seating arrangements and you could place two chairs here, swivel around, watch the morning sunrise come up over the lake. Kara, tell me about this kitchen island. I have seen nothing like it before. Yes, Chase, two unique quartz slabs that were put together and made this book match design. The island is actually 13 feet long and the far end waterfalls. In the center, we have a black contemporary sink with an elegant but simple faucet, plus a one-of-a-kind walnut breakfast bar that can seat up to six people. 
I love how much storage there is in this kitchen. The two-tone cabinetry is a really nice detail. Plus, you're not gonna see anything like this in the Woodlands. We've got a long grain, flat-facing front cabinetry here with this simple tab pull. I love these Thermador appliances. They're all stainless steel professional line. You've got double ovens, this enormous freezer and refrigerator Thermador fridge. Plus, if you're an at-home chef, we've got this amazing cooktop. It's six burners and you've got a griddle. That all is underneath this vena hood with wooden slats that go all the way to the ceiling. Here at the center of the island, you actually get two dishwashers, which is perfect if you're hosting a party. A super nice detail in this kitchen is actually that the builder took the countertops and continued them up the wall to form the backsplash. They book match in the center. It's almost like it's a piece of artwork right here in your kitchen. This working pantry has so many different types of storage. If you're entertaining and you want to stash the dishes, there's a secondary sink and extra counter space. The 58 bottle wine tower, microwave, optional ice maker will come in handy when you're entertaining. All trimmed out with artisan tile and wood shelves. Adjacent to the kitchen is this oversized dining space. You can fit 12 or more people here, which would be perfect for Thanksgiving. I love that you are next to all these windows. You've got a big view of the golf course and the pond outside. That's right, Chase. This open concept design of these three spaces allows them to seamlessly interact with one another. The primary bedroom is on the left-hand side of the home, and it's secluded around this vestibule with additional storage. The wood floors are drawing us into this large space. We get natural light and a view of the golf course, but the focal point of this room is again our second fireplace. We've got a modern linear look here and it's pre-wired for a TV. There are details and selections that really make custom builders stand out from a traditional one. And we see that with some details right here. One of which is this additional window that gives you a view of the green. Plus there's low voltage wiring for your blinds. They can be automatic or on a timer. It's a really great detail. In the primary bedroom, we also have a recessed ceiling with alcove lighting. And also we have contemporary sconces that are operated bedside. This primary bathroom has so many details and I'm gonna start right here in the entryway. First, we see the control for your heated floors that are underneath this large format tile. The centerpiece of this bathroom is this amazing floating vanity. There's tons of storage, a unique countertop. You've got double sinks, LED lit mirrors, and an amazing picturesque window that lets in a lot of natural light, but does not give up privacy. Speaking of privacy, this bathroom actually has two private toilets. On this side of the room, we have the freestanding soaking tub that sits in front of the accent wall that is covered in porcelain tile. It's 3D and it has lots of character. We're actually gonna see the same tile used in the walk-in shower. Let me show you this enormous closet. I do wanna point out that the builder has pre-plumbed this closet for a stackable washer dryer. So you actually get a second utility room. In this closet, you get ample amounts of storage. You have varying different lengths for hanging space, and there's a covered wall of adjustable shoe and folding storage. This packing island has so much storage. On the front side, there's 16 soft closed doors, and on the back side, there's closed storage. I love this valet drop zone, which is perfect for all of your personal items. All of this is underneath a modern linear light fixture that really accentuates this big folding island. Hey Chase, check this out. If you're running late for work, you can just hop on the elevator and go straight down to the four car garage. The view outside on this balcony is epic. Very few homes in the woodlands get to enjoy something like this. This is why the builder built the floor plan this way, because we have a lowered balcony out here. They intentionally lowered the deck about three or four feet so that the railing and your furniture does not obstruct the view inside. If you look closely, you can even see the pond across the golf course. This outdoor patio space is wonderful to entertain your outdoor guests. There's also a six foot spiral staircase that goes down to the patio level. 
Speaking of entertaining, part of this patio is actually covered. And again, we're seeing this really nice cedar siding above. Plus there's a full summer kitchen with a fridge, a grill, and a sink. On the right hand side of the home, we've got a secondary bedroom. Personally, if it was me, I would use this as an office because again, we've got expansive windows that overlook the golf course and the pond. It's got a full closet and across the hall, we've got a full bathroom. If you do need to use this space as a bedroom, then there's actually a flex room across the way that's perfect for a little office nook or maybe using it for your Peloton. This full bath actually serves as your guest bathroom and it has lots of upgrades. We have a three inch leathered marble counter that is on a floating vanity, LED mirror, and another clear story window. You're gonna see wonderful porcelain tiles that are very unique in the shower. There are important upgrades that I wanna talk about in this home before we continue the tour downstairs. They really speak to the craftsmanship that the builder has. First is two by six exterior construction all the way around the house. That is also has spray foam insulation. There's two Daikin air conditioners that have a dehumidifier making this home extremely energy efficient. Plus there's a generator. We've got solid core eight foot doors. There's recessed electrical outlets in the floor and it's been pre-wired with Cat6 for TVs, for data and for surround sound. We are now back down on the first floor. We have this large format tile that is throughout the whole second living space of the home. We also have access to the back porch area down the staircase there. And inside this area, we can go to the garage and we also have the secondary bedrooms. But what's great is you can set this room up. You have media on each wall or it can be artwork. Down here in these secondary bedrooms, they don't lack anything. They're generous in size. They have windows for natural light, full walk-in closets, and their own dedicated full bathroom. There's a lot of great design selections that were put into those bathrooms. We've got quartz countertops, elegant contemporary fixtures and light fixtures. One of the showers has a frameless glass surround and the other one has a soaking tub. Both of them have tile with lots of character. Outside on this large patio, we again see this big second living space outdoors. The builder has selected a composite product out here, so it's durable and low maintenance. Plus, the builder has already pulled a permit for the pool, so you can install that on your own timeline. Down here, we have access to the four-car garage, as well as the spiral staircase that'll take you back up to the top deck. I mean, check it out. Everywhere you look, you get a good view of the golf course. Out here in the garage, you are not gonna find anything like this in a Woodlands home. We've got a four car garage in the village of Grogan's Mill. I mean, you cannot find that. It's triple tandem and the ceilings are really tall. So you could actually maybe fit eight cars in here if you had a car lift. Some of my favorite features are that there's two EV chargers. Also, you can also have elevator access here on the garage floor and the front of the garage is plumbed for a pet wash or it could be a utility sink. This laundry room is a happy spot to be. Doing your chores with 3D tile again on the back walls, soaking sink and lots of storage. This is the drop zone, the med area when you come in from the garage, there's storage here. But also under the stairs, there's additional storage for shoes, coats, and that's where the media racks would be located out of sight. Kara, I really do believe that this four bedroom, four bath, and four car garage home is one of a kind. Chase, I couldn't agree more. It has been so wonderful to go from design construction and completion of the project. Now the only thing left is to find it the perfect new owner. See, I told you this house was not gonna disappoint. You're never gonna find anything like this modern new construction home right here in Grogan's Mill. If you liked this tour and you want more information about this property or to schedule your own private tour, my cell phone number is gonna be down in the bio. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for your time and we'll see you on the next tour.